<laughs> if you watched last week's episode, you saw us exploring the island Holne in the Blekinge archipelago. We walked among fallow deer and listened to the nightingale sing. After a fast sail northeast, we let our Rockna anchor hit the water for the first time at the island Tana. Yeah, last night and this morning we've been having a lot of rain and also quite high winds during the night. But now it has calmed down. But now the forecast says that uh, this evening and tomorrow the wind is going to pick up again. But now even more and from a slightly different direction. Um, the forecast says it will be um, up to 40 knots in the gusts, so pretty high winds. So we have decided that we're going to move to another anchorage just over there. It's just a couple of hundred meters really. But over there you can get closer to land and um, the land is also a bit higher over there. There's a hill. So I think we'll be better protected from the winds uh, at that place. Also. My hand <laughs> I'm here trying to do three things at the same time. Hoist the anchor and clean the chain, but and then trying to remove all this seagrass. Look at this. Yeah, there's a lot of it here. It has like entangled around the chain. I think it's easier if you pull up the chain and take it by hand. Yeah, but if we start drifting backwards, then you have to go forwards and then I... Look! <laughs> we have yeah, like an extra, I don't know, 20 kilos here. <laughs> oh my god, look at this! I think we go forward and maybe some of it comes off. Yeah. Now we're like in the other side of the bay. <laughs> we didn't move very far. And we had planned to stay at anchor here, but then we saw that there is actually a little guest harbor. It has that sign with the anchor, but it's more or less like two docks. But we decided to stay here instead because we would get water and electricity and they have showers and toilets. So uh, it's uh, 200 kroner a night. And so we'll stay here now and then it's gonna, it's gonna start um, blowing more. The wind is gonna increase uh, during the night. But the weather is really nice. I had expected like rain during the whole day, but it cleared up. So over there is where we used to be. Now we're at the dock over here. And the place we thought about anchoring is in the spot in the middle here, but we didn't know about this dock, so. And I think that dock will be quite okay also when the wind comes because it will, we will be uh, pushed off from the dock with the wind direction that is uh, predicted. All these little houses and cottages and Basically, it's only accessed by boat. There is a small ferry that stops here, but I guess pretty much everyone that has a house here comes with their own little boat. Everyone has a, their dog. We have a sock that has escaped. 
she likes to pull off the sock of this on this foot. And I just saw it, so now I have to see if we can find well, I pro it's probably here somewhere. See if we can <laughs> find it. Vera, where have you slain Trumpan? This is just the best time of the year in Sweden. The weeks before Midsummer's Eve. So beautiful. And uh, a week from now, it's promised that the big high pressure is moving in. And we will have some uh, quite warm weather coming up around 25 to 26 degrees. Looking forward to that. Yeah, pretty windy, but not as much wind as we thought it should be. This is not gusting to 40. It's still a few hours away. Yeah, it's supposed to. The wind is supposed to uh, culminate around two o'clock this afternoon. It's around noon now, but I don't think it's that bad. And uh, we're very comfortable here at the dock. And the wind is actually pushing us off the dock, so that's good. It's been on there. It's good it's raining because then the boat gets cleaned. <laughs> it's been so, uh, from all the pollen, it's been all yellow. <laughs> salt as well so now she gets a good clean that's good ah. oh then a better then then if the rain stops it could be interesting to walk to the other side to the lighthouse and see how the waves are on that side because this island is like a, yeah, almost like a horseshoe. So there are very protected waters on this side. But the wind is coming straight against the coast on the other side. So it could be interesting to see how it is up there. The plan is to leave tomorrow. Um, I'll just sail a couple of miles in that direction to another island called uh, Schäre. I guess you could spend a lot of time in this archipelago in Blekinge but we have a lot of ground to cover this summer so I guess we'll have to keep on moving so we might sail all the way to Karlskrona or at least in the, in the vicinity of Karlskrona uh, take a couple of nights in the islands outside there and then probably go into the city as well um, and then it's time to continue north. Crazy weather! We were just about to go outside. And this crazy hailstorm and 
really strong winds and rain. This is a very typical Swedish old house. The red wood, white window frames. out there. You can see Hana over there. It's windy today. Oh, yeah. That's the lighthouse that we saw from the sea the other day. We wanted to go over to this side and see the how the waves were how windy it was. It, it's not too bad. I think it didn't get that windy as it was forecasted. And the sun is night out now so it's quite nice because the wind is very chilly. After a rainy day, it was nice to get out. The strong wind was actually quite refreshing. I found a tick on my leg. I've already found two the other day when we were came back from a walk that was crawling. Like one every time we've been out walking that had been crawling on my leg. But now there's one that I has bitten. Breaking in where we are now, the province, is one of the areas in the world with most ticks. So I have uh, the tweezer, I will uh, remove it. So it's important that you take as close to their mouth parts as possible and you remove it. You should do that as soon as possible. Uh, so this probably came um, yesterday evening when we were out walking. And it was strange because I did like like feel my legs uh, when we came back and checked if I saw any but nothing um, so I mean with ticks you can get Borrelia and uh, more dangerously is TBE is tick-borne encephalitis which you can vaccinate against Ew! Oh. Ew! Sorry, it's still alive! Where is it? There! It's crawling! It's already big! Oh, verkligt! Kolla, look, it's crawling! It's now looking for its next victim. <laughs> we just left uh, Tana and uh, today we're going to uh, another island called uh, Cher. Uh, but it's not very far, it's uh, three nautical miles and it's upwind, so we're motoring. Um, so I guess we'll be there in 30 minutes. And there's a dock, and this early in the season, hopefully we can go alongside on that dock. Otherwise there's uh, buoys in the stern, um, and you yeah, go with the bow in to the dock. The dangerous here with this archipelago is that it, there are rocks everywhere really dangerous rocks so we're just passing by now to uh, yeah, big rocks or several rocks that you can see the waves crash over so they're just below the surface and one was actually a little bit visible and there are no markers or anything like that so you really have to navigate and look at the charts It was shallower than we thought, and the depth sounder hit zero. So we went alongside, but this is where the ferry stopped. 
back, so we knew we couldn't stay here. But a friendly boulder came and told us that we could dock in front of his boat and that it was just soft mud on the bottom. Shara lies a little further north in the western part of the archipelago. This is one of the more popular islands, and if you don't come here with your own boat, you can take the ferry from the mainland. The island has a hostel, some hotel rooms, and a cabin by the water that you can rent. <laughs> This is for humans and this is for the cows. They walk here. There's a group of uh, cows we saw from up there walking around. Oh, they seem to be happy here, walking free on the island. The cows who turn all the moss upside down, they probably eat something from it. Yeah, probably. Looks like a gardener have been here <laughs> yeah. and done some work. We love going ashore and explore our surroundings by foot. Shara is a place where you can both enjoy a good hike on the island and then the waters around with all the little islets. Thank you for watching! We hope you enjoy our Swedish cruise so far. And stay tuned for next week's episode, where we sail to the Swedish naval town, Karlskrona. <laughs>